So it's day three in Pakistan and I wanted to show you guys my long lost um, sister. Her name is Bibi Gul. Bibi? Do you I clipped my extensions on his head. Just have <laughs> Come. Bibi, I'm a bit dressed up today and got my hair in as well because um, let me just tell you guys something. It's one of the team members' cake day today, so they have a child, this Caleb's age. We've been invited to his house, so yeah. Hey cousin. How are you doing cousin? It was raining like 10 minutes ago. Because you really haven't come to UK. <laughs> yeah, UK is not a good thing. Yeah, I've, we've uh, brought the rain to Pakistan, like quite literally. It's crazy. The agenda of today is to go get 70 toys for the 70 children because tomorrow we're going to the zoo, taking them to the zoo, inshallah, and giving them a toy at the end of the day. So that's on the agenda tomorrow. Very fun. Excited. Really? Really. What Do you want to know it? Okay, we're gonna get Caleb some. This is the man we help him with the food. And okay, when it was Ramadan, basically he got through Ramadan with the Ramadan packs that Alhamdulillah we've donated. So thank you guys so much, by the way. Ji, salam alaikum. That's it. Tinge. Ah, bilkul, bilkul, ha, tik tak. Ah, mosab barano lagzad mahki. <laughs> no, okay, that's so English why is a Porto wine. What's the matter? What's Why Why today has been a great day? <laughs> no, why are you going to today? No, 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 Today. Today. <laughs> Today. 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 Has. Has. Been. Been. A. A. Good. Good. Day. Day. Wow. Okay. Cha cha. Ah, more agar de dalo. Singer agar de dalo. It's a river. 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 Oh, so the river overflowed and basically. Oh, no. We're going to visit his house. Inshallah, we're going to visit his house. Inshallah, we're going to visit his house. Inshallah. Thank you. Good day. Happy birthday to you. Oh, don't kill us. How Cake old day. are you now? 33. 26. 55. 26. 26. That's right. Get, going to pick up some goats for uh, tomorrow's food. Sadiq and Dina kindly donated to get. Uh, what do they do? They donated the money for the. No, no, no. They give me money for four lambs. For Mika and Hannah. For Mika and Hannah. So I decide to, uh, you know, slaughter them and take all the meat and do barbecue for the orphan. Amazing. So Mashallah. it's double thing. So they get double reward basically. Mashallah. We don't complain when we eat the meat, but we no. complain when we see yeah. it alive. But this is Allah's hukum. That means we 
we just don't obey Allah that if we say oh no don't do slaughter or oh, don't do da or don't do that I don't know why people saying these things honestly that's what Allah says and we do this okay we basically I'll tell you why she's very annoyed because no, just I'm annoyed um, because, because you know people what? message I'm, very I'm weird things to me and they're Muslims and they don't we do 99% good thing alhamdulillah alhamdulillah if we do just I just did this stupid lips for the sake of somebody's help and they just text me and inbox me and um, comment so mama did the lips mama did, okay i did the lips i did the lips mama where and are you? i help someone i'm speaking about goats and you went no, onto your lips because i just sick and tired of that as well man malia now malia say oh i'm i'm not gonna post uh, the slaughter because people gonna say oh you killing innocent animal this is part of islam this is part of islam Maliha, you ha you please put that in your video, please. I'm sick and tired of negative uh, comments, and I don't want any negative comments because I love people, and I want in return you people love me and respect me. That's all. So we're here right now to pick up the toys for the orphan children, and um, we found this little area that has like so many toys. Luckily, hi, so cute. I just want to take them home. Caleb, I can buy you something too. I can buy you something from me, okay? Which one do you want? Okay, hold up, hold up a second. You know when we give them the eat clothes mm -hmm. and things? Uh, so you send me the recording, innit? When they, no, Rafi sent me the recording when they say, oh, so I say, you you happy, I FaceTime them, I say, you happy, you have all the eat clothes, they say, we don't bother, Kari's have always buy us a uh, thing, we want toys. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, oh it's just like a spider. <laughs> We just finished in the toy store and now Alhamdulillah we picked up so many toys for them. Hopefully they love because they specifically said what they wanted. And now we're going to pick up the meat. Shenwari Hotel um, and it's lovely pulao. Oh my god, I love it. So currently, um, Mama's choosing the land for Mama Welfare Organization Orphanage, and uh, this is the prospect land right now. What's wrong, baby? Where's your other shoe? Did they buy shoe session? Let me do you over. <laughs> you guys, so this is basically a red zone. A red zone, let's explain. Security is on high alert every single time and this is the, the main place that we come to help these people because they've been left abandoned due to the high security and um, high risk of disease and like this is with the houses, that's where they live. Like little mud huts. people, they're not going to come here. Most of the people have abandoned this place but those who couldn't afford have uh, stayed back have stood back here and have uh, very basic facilities or no are without any facility. They have very basic facilities. And but we help here. There's the most needy people here. And the, for the wheelchair, you can see thousand now. Yes. Thousand for the wheelchair. Bricks. Oh, they're making stuff. What are they building? They're just <laughs> bricks. Bricks, man. <laughs> bricks are made out of mud. You know that. No, bricks are made out of stone, Mama. Oh, mud. Oh, mud, mud. You silly girl. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Mama, bricks are made out of stone. Brick made out of mud and mud. then they uh, cooked it. And that's what they it's called it. bate. This is the area basically that most of the wells are built because they don't have any access to any clean water. I'm narrating a story of this road zone. Here you can buy a people. You can buy a people true money you can buy people you can buy people you can make them slaves that's ridiculous yes. you know the, this uh, the, the the rich people in this area um, buy all the khans yeah 
all the khans all the khans in wadera and uh, actually they are so uh, much deprived of their basic facilities basic facilities so that they uh, a single family member of the family would even sacrifice himself to cater the needs of the other family members that's right sir. yeah so they buy the a person only per 20000 rupees oh and he is working for whole life yeah in their break uh, bate bate the they week are but they working but they just for 20000 for the whole life because if you didn't pay the amount the okay. money to this dear their man back so you will be working for the evenly your son will be working for that 20000 rupees until you my didn't goodness. pay them back the yeah. 20000 rupees oh my goodness so still people make like 20000 rupees 100 pound 100 pound yeah so we can release so many people for 100 pound Isn't it? Yes. yes. We can start doing that. We can so pay the money. So they they, they, they buy people and then you Wait, need to. Let me explain to... you, no. Maniha. Okay, yeah, let I me didn't... explain you. So what happened here? You know all the Hans, like Han, yeah. Han from this, like we are Han as well, but yeah. Han from this area. Yeah. They so backward. So they lend like twenty thousand rupee to someone. If like a person, a garib person, a poor person comes to them. Yeah. And they say that oh, I need money, Han, help me. With the money, he will ask him, okay, I can pay you twenty thousand up to twenty thousand rupees, and then you're gonna be working in my bate. What's a bate? Bate is the place where they make bricks, okay? Right. And until you're gonna work in that bate, you until you pay me back the twenty thousand rupees. Right. Okay. So they he lend him the twenty thousand rupees. He lend the, it. Yeah. Uh, the the poor man. The he mortgages man, himself. Yeah. So he start working from that day. and he will work until he return that 20000 rupees so what happened unable. he never earned that much money mm. and they from years and years and years he working oh for that goodness. even his next generation work for that oh my so goodness we plan inshallah that's only 100 pound 20000 rupees only 100 pound so inshallah we going to release these people from the hands and they're not going to work for them anymore we're going to give these 20000 rupees to inshallah uh, release them and start them a little bit business which we already start about five family the business uh, yeah. we start five family the business already alhamdulillah yeah. but inshallah there is hundreds yeah so we gonna because here is no even water yeah show the place i know you i could see <laughs> Okay, so we're here right now. Um, like I said, we're in the red zone area, and um, is, is it us at all? No, Roram, can you speak to me? Filming, no, Kumpam. Today it's a funeral, uh, unfortunately, in their home, so it's a really difficult day for everybody. But we're here today to find out what other help they need. Uh, there's still loads of things that they need, um, like access to clean water, wheelchairs, you name it, they need it. So we're here to find out what things do we bring next time we come. So one of the ladies, like I said, I won't be able to show anyone, but one of the ladies just requested that they needed a well. Okay. So basically they say they open a well for one place, one house and I refuse that. We open you're trying to open it for a village. Yeah. For a few houses. so he can you explain what so basically they two brothers uh, oh. they, they this woman brother 
um, Mari uh, outside. She he was already married, but he fell in love with this woman. Right. And he married this woman, so her husband kicked her out because they were like in each other's house. So her husband kicked her out because your brother married another woman. Now I'm gonna marry another woman as well. So he married another woman and he said that yeah, and her brother married her and sent the other one. Home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> they live in traditional. <laughs> He's so cute. He opened the door for Caleb. Like, what a cutie. I just want to take him home. We're off to uh, the cake day now. We know what we're gonna do, everything's planned out well and inshallah we're gonna see them again. When we come next time, I've just found out they said that there's several people that are possessed by jinns. And I really want to see how they react with being possessed by jinns. And, but they, they said they need help, so uh, next time when we come, that's the next video that I'll be showing you guys. People possessed by jinns. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's let's dance. Let's go, 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 Apparently it's the Pakistan national anthem. What do you do this? Oh, what is that? 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 What is Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is Rafi's wife. Hello. That's a new mom, Sadi. Mashal. That's such a nice name. This is Mashal and Shamir is Raf's uh, son and this is Shanze and that's Raf's baby girl. This is Raf's mama. Doesn't she look like uh, Raf's sister though? That's <laughs> her. Caleb found his long lost friend in Pakistan. And I found my long, long lost daughter in Pakistan. Hi, pumpkin. Hello. So, this is Raf's beautiful sister. What's your name? Me my cousin's name is Mavish. My cousin. Maybe she has a common name. They have a massage here and Mama's just like going to sleep in it. And then they gave me this pedicure thingy. What is a pedicure? Massage. Put massage. Oh my god. Five star treatment. <laughs> you guys, it's like heaven. Oh my goodness. I don't need my husband. <laughs> this is done. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rafi. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Inshallah, next time we will have Thank you for having us. <laughs> Bye, my love, man. Inshallah, definitely come again. Hey guys, she's single. <laughs> Okay, so we're home now and I'm re I'm just really 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 tired. I just want to get some full rest But I don't think I will because we're going Bright and early to see the children inshallah take them to the zoo and just have a nice day trip with them So I will see you guys tomorrow